Hello everyone, welcome to my Royal Family official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In an unprecedented display of support for the King and Princess of Wales, royal enthusiasts descended upon Windsor and lined up to enter the castle. With their courageous announcements that they are receiving cancer treatment, Charles and Kate have aroused rumors that the royal family is in disarray. Today at the Royal Mandy Ritual, Queen Camilla took the throne in the king's place. However, a mile-long line of paying tourists anxious to have a peek inside the royal home today demonstrated the strong public support for the monarchy. They endured almost an hour of rainy weather to witness wonders such as the state apartments and Queen Elizabeth Hughes ultimate burial place. Frank, a visitor from the US, stated, We were informed that the line for the castle was the longest anyone had ever seen, and it really was something, but everyone was very courteous and British. Many people expressed their intention to support the family during this dual health battle. Regretfully, the royal family wasn't present for the royal fans. In another instance, King Charles expressed to the faithful at Worcester Cathedral his deep sadness, about being unable to attend the Royal Mandy ceremony due to his cancer diagnosis. The 75-year-old king was replaced by Camilla, 76, but he was still able to be heard after recording a private message that was played over loudspeakers. During the yearly ritual, the queen gave ceremonial coins to 75 men and 75 women, which was the number selected to signify the king's age. However, a boisterous gathering of demonstrators outside attempted to overpower the ceremony by waving flags and yelling down with the crown. Diligent rather, Charles was occupied 130 miles distant, hosting audiences at Buckingham Palace with ambassadors. And on Sunday, he will be back at Windsor for the shortened Easter service hosted by the royal family. He delivered a speech to the thousands in attendance and read a verse from the Bible. Ladies and gentlemen, it is, for me, a great sadness that I cannot be with you all today, he continued in his address. I hold a very special place in my heart for the Mandy service. Its beginnings can be seen in the life of our Lord, who, to the utter amazement of his followers, knelt before them and cleansed their weary feet from journey. And as we just heard, he purposefully provided them and all of us with an example of how we need to treat and look out for one another in doing so. The wealth of services available to us in this nation is a blessing for our well-being. But more than these companies and their altruistic employees, we really need and gain a lot from people who are willing to be there for us, especially when we're in need. This was an opportunity of a lifetime. Old Norman Tomlinson, 72. My wife has chosen 150 men and women to receive the Mandy money today, they are amazing examples of kindness, going above and beyond what is required of them, and dedicating a significant portion of their lives to helping others in their communities. As Charles's words reverberated throughout the cathedral, Camilla stood alone in the front and watched as many people bent their heads. Camilla then started the Mandi ritual, which is typically carried out by the monarch, in a show of custom and ceremony. Following his receipt, one beneficiary, 72-year-old Norman Tomlinson of Nottingham, who volunteers with both his local church and a hospice, remarked, This was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I hope the king and your daughter-in-law recover quickly, I told her, she remarked. I really appreciate it. About 300 individuals braved the bad weather to cheer the queen as she mixed with well-wishers. The royal family's Easter preparations are changing due to King Charles and Princess Kate's medical issues, so Easter will be rather different this year. Attending the Easter Sunday service in St. George's Chapel is King Charles, who is undergoing treatment for cancer. Several senior royals, including his wife Queen Camilla, will accompany him. Following her cancer announcement, Prince William, Kate Middleton, and their three kids have decided not to go to the service. Charles, 75, will be making his first public appearance after receiving a cancer diagnosis in February. Maven Markle grew up where? 
The birthdate of Meghan Markle is August 4, 1981. Actually, Rachel was her full name. It's noteworthy to note that Meghan Markle's character on the television show Suits was also named Rachel. She grew up in Los Angeles, California, where she was born. Within William and Harry's inheritance, and the reasons why the one brother and mother, the other. Princess Diana, in 1997, Prince William, 41, and Harry, 39, received a substantial inheritance. The adored princess left her two boys a bequest of just under £13 million, which was lowered to £8.5 million following death duties. This amount increased to £20 million after years of astute investing, but the two princes didn't get the money until they were in their twenties. Diana, however, wasn't the only one to leave money to the rival brothers. The Queen Mother, their great-grandmother Elizabeth Bosleyan, reportedly gave Harry a larger fortune, even though he was the younger brother after her death in 2002. Kate's six-word note to children following her cancer diagnosis. Princess Kate has talked about the painful moment she told Louis, Charlotte, and George that she had cancer. With her statement from last Friday, Kate described how she gave her kids comfort by telling them, with just six words, I am going to be ok. As you can imagine, this has taken some time, Kate stated. I needed some time to heal from a major surgery before I could begin my treatment. But, above all, it has taken us some time to reassure George, Charlotte, and Louis that everything will be all right and to explain everything to them in a way that makes sense for them. Meghan is putting pressure on Prince Harry to mend his relationship with the royal family. Meghan Markle is supposedly pressuring Prince Harry to mend his ties to the royal family. Tom Quinn, a royal author, told The Mirror that Harry feels compelled to maintain a contact with his family, even if it's just for the benefit of the couple's new endeavors. Harry still has vague hopes that he will be forgiven and will be offered a minor role somewhere. King Charles keeps up his background job. Despite being diagnosed with illness, King Charles has been hard at work behind the scenes, according to a royal expert. Danielle Stacy, the online royal correspondent for Hello, reports, Since his diagnosis, the king hasn't attended any major events, like the memorial service for the late King Constantine in Windsor last month, the Commonwealth Day celebration, or the reception for Korean War veterans last week. However, he has conducted small audiences at Buckingham Palace. The king is still diligently completing his daily red boxes behind the scenes. Celebrity stylist hired by Meghan Markle prior to brand debut. With her new company, American Riviera Orchard, Meghan Markle is making a comeback to the business world. To make this transition easier, she has engaged the aid of a leading celebrity stylist. Meghan reportedly contacted famous stylist Janie Mizrahi, who is well known for working with celebrities to achieve dramatic wardrobe makeovers, according to Vogue. Meghan was drawn to the in-demand stylist Mizrahi because of her work with A-list celebrities like Adele and Jennifer Lawrence. According to Vogue, the Duchess believes that this action will help her become more well-known in the fashion industry. King Charles emphasizes unity and friendship in his Easter sermon. During his Easter speech, King Charles emphasized the value of showing friendship, especially in a time of need. Jesus provided a model of how we should serve and care for each other, according to the King. Charles stated that as a nation we need and benefit greatly from those who extend the hand of friendship to us, especially in a time of need. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.